effortless. That's usually not the word that you'd like to associate when creating a podcast content. But today it is very much the case. We have tools like Gemini and Notwell M that is able to create a realistic and natural sounding podcast in just a few minutes. And now, Microsoft Pilot, which is my favorite alternative to ChatGPT, has introduced a new feature that lets you create a podcast similar to Notwell M, but it is significantly faster. If Notwell M took about 15 to 20 minutes to create a podcast, then this Copilot tool will only need one or at most two minutes to create a podcast. So that's actually very useful in case you want to get an audio content very very quickly you can rely on this tool although there are a few wrinkles that makes this tool to be not quite on par to not will m and i'll show you why this is still not my favorite option anyway here's how you can create a podcast using microsoft pilot you can navigate to this website and then you can log in with your account which will give you more quota to create a podcast but in this case, I'm using, actually, I'm not using my account because my previous account just hit the limit. So I'm not using my account, but I should be able to create at least one podcast without login to my account. Now here to create a podcast, you can use a keyword like create a podcast or maybe generate a podcast and then about something. That's the keyword that you could use and you know you can upload a document or you can tell it i could do a research or gather uh, data from you know it's training data to help you learn something you can definitely do that but on my testing there seems to be a problem with this podcast generation so i created this podcast on my account and i'm using i was using this keyword create a podcast about ai news today and I was expecting that it is giving me the latest AI news today in 2025, but but it is actually giving me AI news that was one or maybe two years old. So it is really not doing the research on the internet, which is strange because this tool can actually access the web. It can you know read data from multiple websites and will gather or summarize the info for you. But for some reason, if you are asking it to do a, or to create a podcast at the same time it's not going to do that so i don't know why but it's definitely not quite intuitive and it is bad for user experience instead if you want to get the latest data first the latest information then you need to have a chat with ai about that and then later you can generate the podcast let me give you a quick demonstration let's say i want to know more about you know pixel 10 smartphone uh, that's the topic and let's send a message it will do the research of course it is connected to the internet and yeah there are some pictures of the phone there is also some info and i think that's about right and now i'm going to create a podcast based on this conversation so generate a podcast about that about that topic and send the message so this process will take about two to five minutes but usually you can get it in just one or two minutes and the podcast duration is normally around seven minutes i have never seen anything that is less or more or you know beyond eight minutes i think it's about seven minutes which i think is enough to you know summarize and make everything into a simple piece of information that is easy to consume so anyway i'll just skip forward and show you the result all right, so the podcast has been created. Let's have a listen. Welcome to Copilot Podcasts. You know what's wild? Google just completely flipped their camera strategy on its head. Today, we're diving deep into the Pixel 10 series, where base models are getting telephoto lenses, screens are hitting mind-blowing brightness levels, and AI... The Pro, Pro XL, and that indeed. The base Pixel 10 starts at Euros 899, then you've got at around $1,600. Wait, the foldable's getting cheaper? That's unexpected. Right, and get this, they're all getting these incredible... You'll never struggle to see your screen, even in direct sunlight. Okay, I would say it is decent, but of course there are a few things that makes it less natural compared to Notwell. I'm not saying it is bad, but 
I would say not with M is still the gold standard when it comes to sounding very human. So this is the result, and of course it is also generally some nice visual, like this is definitely not Pixel 10, but you know, it's a nice visualization for the content. So uh, as you can see, it is actually following my instruction and it's giving me the podcast that uh, sound very uh, actually accurate based on the topic that we just discussed. So that's basically how you can create a podcast using Microsoft Copilot. And if you find this video to be useful, then feel free to subscribe to this channel and I'll see you on my next video. I wish you a great day ahead.